Today we're checking out the only game where the best way to survive being stranded on an island is to of course eat the rest of the survivors this episode. I asked for a bolt list of what to expect in this episode and I think it was literally pregnancy, cannibalism, and death in that order. As is fairly typical down here in Florida, my Titanic yacht has sunk and now I'm stuck on an island with Jessica. Actually, I'm pretty sure there's more than Jessica. But he's awake and he's cute. You know what, I like this girl. Is this literally the Titanic in the background that sunk? I've been on cruises before, I don't regret it, but the only things I can ever remember is drinking and me losing at gambling. Say hello to our main character, Floridus Bud Lightington. You can tell he's a man of culture because the plus one he took along with him is his mustache. Think of him like the tank top wearing Burt Reynolds of Florida. There was a storm last night and the cruise ship sank. Do you exist only to narrate the story? That was a fantastic pair of sunglasses you have, by the way. I'm sorry to tell you, but we were the only survivors. We, like, like you and what? Who the hell's Jessica? What did she come with the island? The thing that really concerns me is I think I literally have these shorts in my closet. I'm Max. The redhead over there is Jessica. Look, you call her Jessica. I call her dinner. There may be plenty of coconuts on this island, Max, but do you know what happens when you eat nothing but coconuts for a week? You get what's called EBP. Do you know what that is? Explosive butt pee. Yeah, it's where you go to the bathroom and it's like stabbing a hole in the side of a can of pressurized ready whip. Hi, Jessica. Who the hell is this? The crying pregnant lady is Megan. Oh, the pregnancy did come in first. All right. The captain who let our cruise ship sink is named Donna. Hello, Donna. I didn't know you were so good at letting people down. Oh, there's one more person. And she's talking to some nerd named Curtis. Man, we're gonna be fine. There's a ton of food on this island. Any questions? Just one. Who's in charge? Max is gonna be like, have you ever seen Highlander? And Florida's Bud Lightington will say, of course I have. I always told my parents I wanted to be a Highlander when I grew up. Max is probably like, I wanted to be a dinosaur. Well, no one is. We're still trying to come to terms with our near-death experience. Worry not, Max. Bud Lightington and his mustache will find a way out of this. In that case, I am hell yes! Later. Gather around, everyone. It's time to establish some ground rules. All right, here comes our stack of survivors. My name is Florida's Bud Lightington. If anyone wants to know about my qualifications to lead, I had two siblings, but I absorbed them in the womb. I'm like a South Floridian Cerebus. From now on, I would like you all to refer to me as King. Lord or chief. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of wish that this one in the middle started with an F this way It would have been KFC because I love their popcorn chicken. Actually now I'm hungry for popcorn chicken I've got bad news because I like popcorn chicken I'm probably gonna end up deep frying you all into small little bite-sized nuggets. You may refer to me as king King Floridus Bud Lightington. I'm in charge and I will be making all of the decisions. I love this guy. He really knows how to step up. If anyone has a problem with this, I'm gonna stab you to death with one of the tubes of toothpaste that I found inside of one of the suitcases that washed up. And why should we let you call the shots? I was on the debate team in high school. Little known fact, I actually got put in as an alternate on the debate team in high school, kind of randomly. That was the first and last time they ever did that. This isn't the first time I've been stranded because no one else claimed the title. As long as we have alcohol and a stack of playing cards, we're gonna be fine. I've been stranded before and I survived that. That's not something to brag about. Yes, it is! Listen, Donna, I have my mustache, you have your cruise ship. You know what the difference between us is? I still have my mustache. Well, we do need someone to lead us. Thank you, Curtis. I think Floridus Bud Lightington is a better option than the person who sank the ship. I like this guy. Thank you. But remember, it's King Floridus Bud Lightington. <laughs> right, sorry. That's okay, Curtis. Don't let it happen again, or you're first. You can't seriously let this guy take charge. Donna, Donna, we're in the middle of the Florida Keys and you ran the Titanic into an iceberg. That's harder than winning your money back on 7-Eleven scratch-off tickets. I'm not thrilled on the idea, but I trust him more than I trust you. I'm gonna win this basically by default. Plus he's hot. Jessica, I'm appointing you as uh, whatever comes under king. You're like a, like a baron, or like a vice king. Is that what you think too, Megan? My husband just died. It doesn't make your opinion any less relevant. I can't be thinking about another man like that. Wait, what? I'm going to be the king, not the father. But do you want Florida's Bud Lightington to be in charge? Oh, well, I don't care who's in charge as long as we find a way back home. I'm pretty sure I saw a life raft chilling out in the background. Sounds like we have three and a half votes for me. Wait, who the hell's the half? The fetus? My first act is as a leader is to search for food in prison, Donna. I saw this. 
<laughs> like, I know food came first, but my eyes were immediately drawn to imprisoning Donna. Mary Jessica! Okay, well, first things first, okay? Descent isn't allowed. Imprison Donna. <laughs> what? <laughs> Donna's like, don't look at me like that. Listen, Donna, I'm looking at you like a rabbit looks at an ear of corn. You almost killed us all. Attempted murderers must be jailed. That's what you get for skipping evasive maneuvers class. Put these handcuffs on. This is ridiculous. How do you expect to imprison me exactly? I, I, I actually hadn't thought that far. I guess I could just beat you unconscious with someone's shake weight or something. He's really thinking about this. Oh, this is a scene change. Holy hell! Did I make this? I'm incredible! <laughs> I built an entire gigantic parakeet cage out of bamboo! I don't even think there's bamboo on this island! All right, now we need to hunt for some food. Megan, since you're pregnant, you'll stay back and guard Donna. Everyone else, follow me. I'm not gonna lie, I'm hoping there's someone else on the island so we can kill and eat them. Max, I'm gonna be honest with you. Okay, I'm worried about Megan. <laughs> Why? She's pregnant. That's probably the most sensible thing that Florida's Bud Lightington has said this. I'm sorry, King Florida's Bud Lightington has said this entire episode. What's wrong with that? She's eating for two. Her mood swings will drive me mad. I don't know how to deliver a baby. I mean, technically I saw it in a video game one time, so I'm as qualified as anyone else. She is eating for two. That means less for the rest of us. You're right, that's gonna be a problem. I'm glad you see things the same way I do, Max. Hey, Jessica. Yeah, we're getting married tomorrow, not today. Oh, I found some berries. I'm pretty sure they're poisonous. Okay, I have to take the time to ask, like, how poisonous are we talking about? Are we talking about, like, four-week-old milk poisonous? Because I've drank that and I was fine. Why would you think that? Well, I'm a botanist. What? Successful educated people don't make it into episode. How did you get here? So I know a thing or two about plants. I'll take your word for it. I don't know what a botanist is. Okay, nerd. I'm just gonna go with the nerd. <laughs> These berries don't look poisonous to me. Nothing poisonous ever looks poisonous. What do you think can Florida's Bud Lightington eat the berries, save the berries for later, throw out the berries? I'm not gonna lie, I like you, Jessica, but I basically want to see what happens when we eat the berries. Eat them. Yeah, that's right. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> oh, there goes Jessica, no! I guess they were poisonous. Oh, we got our first death only a couple minutes in. Oh, it happened before the cannibalism, unless she's just unconscious. A few hours later, finally you're back. Did you idiots find anything? Unfortunately, no, we're down a member too. Megan's gonna be like, what happened to Jessica? Ah, uh, she tripped and fell on some poisonous berries. Has she been crying the whole time? She's grieving. Still, shouldn't she be over it by now? It's been like four hours, man. It's only been a few hours. There's a goddamn sailboat right in the background. <laughs> What is this? I like how everyone here is just gonna let this thing pass by. Where's Jessica? She ate some poisonous berries and died. Don't soften the blow or anything, Curtis. Oh, that's terrible. But I guess that's one less mouth to feed. Damn, Donna's ruthless as hell. Like she's almost worse than I am and that's tough. Until Megan gives birth, hmm. Anyway, I'm thinking we're gonna have to turn to camels up there. It is. Actually, this is a good point. Do we put Jessica in the shade? What? I'm just saying it's what we're all thinking. No one else was thinking that. Curtis, I was thinking that. Silence! We can survive up to a week without any food. Of course, we would have we would survive a lot longer if one of us just, you know, waved at the gigantic sailboat that's chilling out behind us. If we still haven't found anything better in a week, we can discuss the cannibalism option. We're just gonna put that on the back burner for right now. What are we meant to do now? Well, finding a way to refrigerate Jessica is probably a good idea. Well, the sun will be setting soon. So I think we need to search for shelter build a fire, go for a swim. Considering I built a cage for Donna in about 20 minutes, I could probably build a hotel in under an hour, but we're gonna go for a swim. Now, I know this just seems like I'm trying to slowly get everyone here killed. I am, but it's also possible that we might find a grouper or something and we can punch it in the face and eat it. We need to do that before it's too dark. Wasn't nearly drowning enough for you? I don't know. Ask the people in the sailboat watching us discuss cannibalism. We can't live the rest of our lives in constant fear. Well, you can go swimming, but I'm staying here. Fine, you can watch Donna. Ah, uh, yeah, this is hot. If there's one thing I love doing, it's standing idly in violent shark infested tropical waters. I think I saw my husband's body float by. Can you like point? Just because he might have something useful on him. My skin's starting to prune. You guys are no fun. I should have left you all on shore. The following day, oh, we actually did go for a swim and no one died. I make really good decisions. Today, I really think we should shift focus to getting rescued. Is the sailboat still there? What are we shifting focus from exactly? That doesn't matter. I don't know, mostly we've spent our time watching Donna and getting killed. We're looking toward the future now. 
That was metaphorical. I love how even Donna looked. So how are we going to get rescued? Build a raft, swim to civilization, scream really, really loud. This is a great idea because if I get everyone's throat sore now, I won't have to worry about them alerting everyone else when I'm killing them later. Let's all scream really, really loud. Someone will definitely hear us and send a helicopter. Are you crazy? Yes, I am. We have to try. I want everyone to take a deep breath. I, <laughs> now screw. Everyone follows instructions so well. Yes. Guess it didn't work. Well, I'm not surprised. Shut up, Donna. Ah, uh, let's see. Give up. I don't want to give up yet because there's still plenty of people to kill, so let's build a raft. And how do you suppose we do that? Donna, you're sitting inside of a cage. You think a raft is a big deal? There's plenty of washed up parts from the cruise ship we could salvage. And plus, it's pretty obvious that Megan's husband is still very buoyant. We can actually use him as part of the raft a few hours later. Look at this. There's a ton of stuff over here. This is pointless. The only thing here is soggy luggage. We simply can't build a raft out of that. Max, I don't like that negativity. I've built a raft. What the hell? Is it a plane? And you didn't build a raft, you built like a D-Day boat. This is made out of metal? I thought you were a botanist. It can only carry two people. I guess we should discuss as a team. Tell the girls, <laughs> tell the girls I'll come back for them someday later. <laughs> ah, yes, Curtis. Here we are on our metal boat tank. Our metal boat tank is sinking. It is sinking. Curtis, we're dying. Curtis, do something. I just died, didn't I? Oh no, we're still alive. Hey, how the hell did Donna get out? Should we try something else? Swim to civilization or give up? We're not giving up. I'm going through all of the options. We're going to swim, but we don't know how far that is. We could be swimming for days. What if I give birth in the ocean? I don't have any answers for any of you. Plenty of people do water births, not in the ocean. Yeah, I don't know if it's salt water. I think you're all forgetting. I am King Floridius Bud Lightington. You foolish plebs. I've brought us all this far, haven't I? <laughs> Y'all voted for me, which means we're swimming. <laughs> All right, everyone, that's it. Swim to get, what the hell is happening here? We're doing like the Congo through the water. Your team works together to swim against the current. For a while, it seems like you just might be able to make it. A few hours pass and then you see it. Hell yes, you did it. Look, round of applause, please. Land. Is this the exact same island that we just came from? Well, we just go from one of the Florida Keys to the other Florida Keys. This looks familiar. It's the same island, isn't it? Turns out you swam in a circle. Ah! Son of a bitch! Well, I'm not surprised. I'm really starting to dislike you, Donna. Should we try something? The only thing left is give up. You can't give up. I'm, I'm glad that the one person who I threw in prison is the same person that's spurring me forward. I'm too tired to deal with this. Well, in that case, I'm going to go take a nap. I think I'll take a nap, too. I'm going to nap alone. Bye, Curtis. I'm going to go build a sandcastle. Oh. Yeah, I'd love to have you, Megan. Nope. Oh, never mind. I'm gonna go build this alone later. Several more days pass by. With no food and no escape, your makeshift tribe is starting to lose faith in you. Technically, it's a kingdom. It's been a week. Can you let me out of this cage so I can help you? No. Maybe Donna's right. I can't believe you're all taking her side. I think we're all just hangry. You're right, Megan. We need to eat some more. I did say that we would come back to cannibalism. Don't you mean something? No, Curtis, I meant what I said. It's been a week. Someone here has to go. Finally! Max has been waiting for this since the beginning. I nominate Megan. Whoa! Well, I was thinking also Megan. Donna or Curtis? This is tough because technically Donna has kept very well for the last week. I think she could probably even go another week. Let's eat Curtis. He's sneaky. I don't trust him. So you want to eat me? Why not Max? This was his idea. This is ridiculous. Shut up, Donna. You're next. Oh no. It's time. Megan, we're stranded on an island. You're gonna have to hold it in. The concept of time doesn't exist anymore. Listen up, Megan. Biology has no sway here. Just because we're stranded it doesn't mean time is stand still. Did I give you permission to speak? You're the currently nominated food source. You shut your mouth. No, but my water broke. Oh God. See, this is why we should have eaten Megan last week. Stop arguing and help me. We can't help you, Megan. We're not trained nurses. Worse yet, I'm, I'm not actually trained in anything. The baby is coming. It's okay, Megan. I'll call an ambulance. What did you just say? How do you plan on doing that with this? You gotta phone this, are you kidding me? He's like, yeah, I got it from that sailboat that was passing by in the background. It's waterproof. So you could have phoned for help a week ago. Technically, yes, but we were having so much fun. You enjoyed Jessica dying? I didn't force her to eat the berries. This guy is sicker than I am. So what are we going to do about this situation? Let Curtis phone for help. That's no fun. Hey, Curtis, throw his phone into the ocean. We're eating Curtis. What about me? Well, you live to see another day. I'm talking about the baby. Oh, that. Well, we'll figure something out. But now we have to deal with the traitor. 
I've been waiting for this all week. Please don't hit me. This is the only game where this is a line of text. A few weeks, oh my God. Ah uh, yes, all is well on the island. <laughs> is it? For a major nerd, Curtis surprisingly had a lot of meat on his bones. Oh wow, we did have a birth successfully. And Donna's out of her cage. Meaning you could all survive for many months to come. You kept the phone for yourself so that you could take selfies. Since the natural lighting on the island was perfect for good photos, Megan managed to deliver a healthy baby and out of the goodness of your heart, you decided to let Donna free. As long as she respects you, of course. Oh my God. Well, I had a group of people and only two died. Those are pretty good odds. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of episode. Till next time, stay foxy and much love.